Okay, you're gonna let it run to me. This is how my brain works, you guys. Look how light they are. They're so light. We don't know what to name him. So if you guys have any suggestions. On three, we say how many kids we want. What? <laughs> almost fell off this ladder. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's the afternoon. I've got paint all over me. I've actually kind of got the majority of it off actually. <laughs> I spent all morning as I have been the last couple of days finishing this. I'm obsessed with it. I, I've never built a hood before. I kind of just went with it and, and kept like hacking away at it and it just looks incredible so today i've spent just painting it and before i got to the painting stage if you saw this last renovation video if you have it i will link it for you because you should go check it out because i built this and i did crown molding and i figured it out and i'm really proud but in that video right as i was about to paint it which was happening this morning i painted over like the wood piece at the bottom and i got about halfway done with the front part and i was like am i messing up I'm like, should this not be painted? Because it was so large, the hood is so large in this space, I wanted to make sure that it still felt light and airy in here. And so I wanted to go with the same color as the walls, which was gray mist. And then it would be this structure with a lot of texture because all of this is plaster. I mean, look at all of that texture, you guys. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. So I went with my original design, my original thought that was to do it light and do it like the wall. Then I started painting it and I was like, maybe it does need something special. But there was a couple of problems with that. I used plywood for this middle section and then different types of trim in different woods to create this design. So it wouldn't have stained the same. That's, that was one thing. Number two was opposite this wall, directly across, you're gonna look at the fireplace. I didn't want this to look like a mantle. And I felt like if I did it contrasting, it would look like a mantle. This is how my brain works, you guys. So I was like, okay, I don't know about that. Should I have done it in pashmina, which is the color that we did for the cabinet trees? And you know what I realized is I can't make that decision right now because I don't have the cabinet doors on. So I don't know how powerful the pashmina is gonna be in this space because I have no cabinet doors. So you don't see the color in all its glory right now. So I can't make that decision right now on whether painting this bottom part, this color in gray mist was the right decision. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I can leave it alone. But could we do something to it? Maybe. That's, that's what's been going through my head today. So welcome to the vlog. We have to clean up my mess. I have to like not be cooking our dinner in a construction site. Like, look at this. I mean, I've got ladders everywhere. I've got paint cans. I literally just stopped working. We have to clean. Otherwise, Romeo might just, just disown me at this point. <laughs> I'm done with the defense Go back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders And closed up, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Living in the past I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high Remember the colors, they were 
wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up Yeah, over the hillside It's alright We stood there all wide-eyed You and I Floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back No going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past We're over that Okay, you guys, I have <clears throat> completed a very large portion of Sunday's video. You guys today are gonna help me do the face frames. Oh, we're ringing, we're ringing. Oh, sh it's Drew. Hello. Look how look. Oh, oh, the floors. Look how light they are. They're so light. Oh. Everyone's gonna die. Okay, the wood in here apparently is quarter sawn white oak, which is the most expensive wood you can buy in wood floor, for wood floors, in oak form. And you didn't even know. You guys are gonna like be so excited when you see the floor. I mean, they're not done, but he just showed me some of the ones that were, that they had sanded already. They look really good. I've been ordering some other things for the kitchen and I've been finding some really cute stuff. If I can find some scissors. Okay, so I think that this is like a, a really unique pot that I found. I think that's what's in here. I always keep all my packaging supplies. You never know when it's gonna come in handy. Oh, this is actually a couple of things. I found these things on Amazon. I will link these. I actually saw them in a boutique in Fredericksburg and I loved them. Isn't that cute? They weren't very expensive either. So so adorable, and you can wash them. And this. What? This. Look at this face. I went back there and I started to look at like all of my decor, and I was like, okay, what do I have for the kitchen that I would want to decorate it with? I have jugs like that have really skinny tops that you wouldn't really put anything in, but I didn't have any vases. Now, granted. This opening is a little smaller than I had imagined. Um, but I saw this face and I wanted to see it in person. It looks kind of vintagey and like organic at the same time, which is kind of the look I'm gonna go for with like the organic up here. It almost looks like concrete, but it's super cool. So we'll see how that like works out. Um, I'll link these two things because they're really pretty. I also got a box from Thrive Market. A big thank you to Thrive for sponsoring this vlog. I love ordering from them. I love working with them. Overall, a great company. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living affordable and easy and accessible for everyone. And one of the things that I love the most is for every new membership, they give a free membership to someone and a family in need. So they have access to natural and organic foods and products more easily. We also don't live close to a grocery store. We have to drive about 30 to 35 minutes to a larger grocery store that has healthier options. So for us and ordering, it's amazing because I do love their snacks. Let me show you what I got. Love these. Quinn whole grain touch of honey pretzel sticks. I love eating some smart sweets. I probably got a few, yes, I got a few. I like the sour burst smart sweets and also the peach rings, so good. Throw me up. Nothing? I didn't get <laughs> it. Oh, I did buy you some almond butter. I love those. I know you do. Basically, this box is for Romeo. If I get any, oh no, these are for me. You want some, okay, which one do you want? You want peach rings? Can you catch? Yeah. <gasps> oh my God, I just the <laughs> If you know, you know. I love these, the grain free puffs and barbecue. I think they have another flavor too. I love this Meyer. So I got the dish soap and the hand soap refill because I like to buy the refills so that we can put it in the pretty jars. Oh, I got lots of goodies. I got patchouli and nutmeg beeswax candle made with pure essential oils because Thrive Market isn't just for groceries. They also have home goods like this, bath product. Ooh. I got this pure luxury green tea makeup sponge, tough stuff scrub brunch, br sponge brush. And finally, I ordered some more big trash bags. These are my work trash bags. They're made from 100% reclaimed 
plastic. So I got some more of those. And that was the grocery haul, but I do love Thrive. If you live out of the way, or you just want an easier way to have access to organic groceries, natural products, definitely check out Thrive Market. So you guys can click the link in my description box to go to thrivemarket.com slash McKenna and join Thrive Market today to get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued up to 50 bucks. I wish I had organized cabinets and things to put all of this in, but I don't. So it just kind of gets crammed into places, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I changed. I made some coffee and tried to get all the paint off my hands. I don't want the new puppy to have get paint on him. That would be bad. Mom? Mom? <gasps> Where's everybody at? Hello? Mom? Hello? <laughs> this is my original baby boy. Yes. I know. You're my best friend. You are my best friend. Hey, where's... Oh, I think... Where's our new brother? Do you love him? Do you love him? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, you're going to let him run to me? control of all of us and spoiled and then I will introduce you to my baby Kinsley you're gonna be best friends Hi. look at all your little ears <laughs> you got so much you just had to color. clean his honey you had to get your honey cleaned yeah what did you do he pooped oh. and stepped back oh no <gasps> yes it's oh, alright it's okay you're right here you're okay oh look at that baby We don't know what to name him. So if you guys have any suggestions on what oh. he looks like, please help me. We've gone through Ollie. Doesn't Ollie like and Olivia. Ollie. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, you guys, that little baby is so cute. <gasps> he's so tiny. He's so young, but he's so cute. He'll be, him and Olivia will be about the same size. Mom doesn't know what to, what to name him. She's gone through so many. Um, then she had some that she liked, but then once she met him, they didn't really look like him, I guess. Um, it's just, she's just so, so happy. We had a puppy named Spiffy. His name wasn't Spiffy. I don't know why they called him that. His name was Levi and we lost him not too long ago. Well, actually maybe a couple of years now and it's just sad and and she just wanted to get adopt another one and give one a really good home so let us know what you would name him so now we have to go back to the house and i have to change back into my paint clothes because i need to make more cabinets or for sure some face frames and just like trim it out and then we're like we're done with cabinetry in in the kitchen which is incredible it's just like i have to I have to keep doing it i just like to get started on a project and then we'll, we'll see where it takes us okay so you guys today or tonight rather it's it's getting darker earlier so it's kind of messing with my head it used to get dark at nine o'clock now it's almost seven and it's already starting to get dark so i definitely know fall is coming i wanted to get to the other cabinet over here and this one that one that didn't happen but it will happen we are going to be doing that um this week i'll probably work on it tomorrow or so uh, but what i do want to do is i need to get all of the face frames and the crown molding up on this cabinet and i want to get it painted 
And I asked you guys over on Instagram if you guys had any questions for me because we haven't done a Q&A in a while. So I figured we could catch up. We could work on this project together and I can answer your questions. I need to measure some things to figure out what I'm about to be cutting. Um, Cause I need the two inch base frames cut out of plywood. <laughs> so let me do that first. <laughs> I got some pieces figured out. If you saw the renovation video, you kind of have known like the steps, so to speak. So we're gonna start with plywood on this side. And this just helps to kind of uh, make a really smooth side. This isn't very attractive right there on the seam. So by putting plywood, we have a much smaller gap to fill and we can make it look really good. Does Romeo get sick of the projects? My husband would want to hire someone, LOL. You want to answer this? <laughs> if we're doing it outside of the heat, yeah. If you had your way, you would hire all of this out. Yeah. Yeah. The renovation work and living in a construction site is definitely like easier on me than it is on him. Yeah. For sure. Like he's like, no. <laughs> He gets really mad about running into pieces of wood and ladders in the middle of the night. I try to keep my stuff together. Yeah, he's he's totally over it. He's like, when we get the house in LA, is this gonna happen again? And like, we can't do that. Like, living through it is is rough, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, like for me, it literally doesn't phase me at all. Like, I love living in the project. But that's just me. I'm wondering where you learned all your skills for someone so young. Oh, well, I, I did my projects for the first time with every project. It's the first time I'm ever doing it. And I'm learning as I go. If I wanna figure something out, I Google it. I ask someone who's done it, you know, or, or ask advice or you guys, our community's so great with that. But I mean, I think that, am I young? Thank you. <laughs> I'm 34. <laughs> I've been through a little bit of life. I'm not like, I'm not young, young, but I'm not, not old either. You're young. I'm young? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I have always been really interested in um, figuring out how things work. I think that that works in my favor with this job by far. Um, so I Google it. Are you still doing the guest cottages? So if you guys have follow, been following for a while, you would have remembered when we bought this property, the original plan was to turn it into um, kind of like a, a, an investment property. That's, that's what it is. That's what it still is. But initial plans, because we had such a deep lot and it, like our land goes back pretty far, I wanted to build um, three guest cottages back there and turn them into Airbnbs. On the other side of it, be a, a really smart investment for our family. So that was definitely the uh, original plan. I don't know what the plan is now. I have the sketches drawn up to do it. When we decided to put a pause and uh, hold off on building them, it was still really expensive to build. Wood prices were still high. It was really difficult for me to get tradesmen to show up. If you guys remember, like some wood, some wooden, some abandoned me. Like it was, it was emotionally done. I would dread the days that I would expect tradesmen to show up and contractor work. And it just got so like miserable, I think. It got so hard on me. So I'm very much a type of person that like if something's not working, what can I do to fix it? Because I don't want to be miserable <laughs> like that. Like I don't want to dread something that I'm creating. And uh, so I was like, okay, we're call it. We're pulling the plug on the guest cottages. If this is an investment property, why would we invest so much in building right now when we can wait and hopefully the prices will will decrease, which they have, which is a much better time. Like I just picked up some two by fours yesterday and they were $3 a piece. The first batch of two by fours, I bought 40 of them when we started building this pantry section. It was the first project we did. They were $16 a piece almost. It was 15 something per board. Five times the price when we started building. Wow, these, the guest cottages, if we continued, it would be, they would cost five times 
the amount to build then versus now. Now we're in a phase where we, I've said this many times, I think it's just on my brain, we very much wanna start a family and that may still be the plan down the line, but for now, the long-winded answer to your question is that we have put a pause on the guest cottages totally and we would just want to enjoy this property and find our home in a land sort of family. That is my main goal now, right? Our main goal. Our main, I said our main goal, exactly. Would you do a cost breakdown of your cabinets? They look so good. Yeah, yes. I used a lot of scrap material, so I really used the most, but I used a lot of plywood for different projects. So it's, it's kind of mixed, but I think I can get pretty close. Just for reference, I used a a little under two sheets of plywood for those cabinets and each sheet of plywood was around 60 bucks so for 120 dollars in just the cabinet boxes and then we had to add the quarter inch the crown molding the trim here that's all but then of course we have additional materials going into the cabinet doors and if i add shelves that's additional, so when we get there, I'll, I'll definitely do it. Made some pieces to go horizontally, the face frame pieces. Do you see a physical change in your body since doing so much renovation? I was just talking to this about uh, with Drew earlier. I saw a big change when I was doing demo work. I was down here and it was hot. It was like 89 degrees and I was demo. I was like, I was strong. Like I had muscles, remember? Yeah. And then during demo stage, I did a lot of it, right? So like for a full year, I had gotten stronger. I can just like pick things up with ease. I remember carrying the, the saw, the miter saw. And in LA, I would struggle to carry it. You would carry it for me. And then here, I would like literally like have it in one hand, like walking it back and forth. So I definitely gained muscle. I had shedded some weight a little bit. Um, and then we got moved inside and we stopped doing so much demo and I didn't see too much, I kind of went back to normal, but I'm still strong, like stronger than I think people think that I am. Like I can, I can pick up a lot of weight for sure. I noticed that at the bridal shower when I was there, I was like moving stuff around and the girls were like, yeah, what are you shoulder. doing? Yeah, table. <laughs> They're like, oh my God. <laughs> How old is Kinsley? She's gonna be five. It's almost her birthday. It's almost her birthday. She's gonna be five years old on October 30th. We have to have a little party. She my precious baby. She's a Scorpio just like She you. can't wait to meet the new puppy. She's a Scorpio like you, yeah, yeah. I think. I don't know, is October 30th Scorpio? I think, I think so. so. How did you learn woodworking? The very first wood project I did was my vanity, right? My vanity? Yeah. I did, I did the chairs, our patio chairs in LA I did after. The vanity, I found a um, wood uh, project template for vanity. I built someone else's design so that I could learn how it goes together and how things function and what are the best joints to make. Um, even though I'm, I don't do any kind of advanced joints like dovetail like it's in our table and stuff and or anything like that. I truly did learn by following someone else's tutorial. So I have, if you love my patio chairs that we that I built in LA that are still there, still beautiful. Uh, if you love those, I actually do have plans. I did show you exactly how to make those. If you wanted to do that and try that out, you can totally. It'll show you how to do like pocket holes and things like that. Or like the cabinetry, I've kind of showed you how to do those, but not as well. But that's how I learned. I, I just try and I Google stuff and I, I look things up. Tell us about your first YouTube video. Let's not. <laughs> you want to tell me about my first YouTube video? Um, oh, I totally missed it. Oh. <laughs> it's going about as well. <laughs> um, which one was the concrete desk? Yes. Oh my God. You know, I have left that video live because. You should leave a link. Them. No! Please don't go watch it, even though I know that that's what you guys are all gonna do. I left it up because I think it shows growth in my skill 
level of doing things myself. And I've always, you know, at the time I was just really getting into like pushing myself to do different projects um, that I had never done before. And I had this desk, this black desk from Ikea and I put, I don't know why, but at the time concrete was a really big deal. And so I had done this concrete mixture over the top of it and made it into a concrete table with black legs. And it was like my desk for years. Um, and then I needed a new desk and I redesigned it. And I think I gave it to somebody, I don't even know. Yeah. So that was my first YouTube video. Even like the way that it was edited, it was only five minutes. And I remember sending it to my nieces at the time they were like, <laughs> 12, 11, and I was like, what do you think of my YouTube That's video? Important. And I remember Ava telling me, she was like, maybe make it a little longer. <laughs> I had false eyelashes on, you guys. I was like, no, not, not, no. So I cut another piece of plywood for the side here. That'll help us too to kind of guide their face frames and like make it all nice and perfect. So, what kind of Christmas theme do you want to go for in the cottage? <laughs> this year, the cottage is going to get Victorian abundance. Victorian mixed with like modern. Like I want cozy Victorian organic modern. <laughs> if that even makes any sense. Think tinsel and like there's tons of ornaments on the tree but all white lights outside. We have white deer that I found at an estate sale. Icicle lights that I got at thrift stores to do the whole outside. We're gonna have really cool outside stuff. And then inside is going to be like very like vintage ornaments, abundant tree looking. And then I wanna do the mantle. And I'm gonna start on my inspiration board too because I mean we just got to fall but I did do I thought it helped me a lot so yeah we're gonna do mood boards for Christmas and it's going to be amazing and you guys know how much I love Christmas and we didn't get to do Christmas at the college last year because it was still very much under construction so this year it's really about prioritizing this front area of like makeovers and stuff I think we have, we have a, lot, a lot of time still um, but the living room the kitchen the entryway everything is gonna be done the outside everything's done will be done so it's gonna be really really nice what did you decide about the la house you liked so much i did like it ultimately we decided that that house was going to need too much work and it was going to be too costly for renovating um, it had been sitting empty for 10 years. We talked about it and kind of like wrote down all the things that we thought were, were gonna need to happen um, in order for it to fit for our family. And it was just too much of a project to take on. I think we're still very much like in this project and like this renovation. And we were hoping to find something that was a little more move and ready that we could just decorate and live in and start a family. And then maybe we have a flip house that we do that we don't live in. I promised Romeo that we would not live in a construction site again. And that's just what's gonna work best for us moving forward. So we did find another one that we may have lost out on <laughs> that I love, but you know, you win some, you lose some, we're still looking. What do you think the younger versions of you would say when seeing the house? I think all ages of myself, like my, eight-year-old would say oh yeah we did that I was a pretty confident little girl <laughs> I was like oh yeah we did that I was always really curious I always wanted to work on projects I was never bored I always just like I took things apart to figure out how they were made like I was that kid I didn't like Barbie dolls I didn't like playing house no I I just I I love to do this with my hands. I like paint. I was creative. So yeah, I think the younger version of myself would be pretty proud, but also not surprised. Definitely would have never thought us building the house. You would have never thought no. this would be. I took your life. I took a class a wood a wood, a wood shop class. Yeah. That's probably as far as. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. yeah. Tips to not feel disheartened when you see everyone's homes and you're not at oh, that stage yet. Oh. Now. 
Oh, babe, do you remember the times that we would drive through like really nice neighborhoods and dream about the houses? Oh yeah, like the palisades and stuff like that. Palisades. Oh, like one day we'll 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 yeah. Live here. yeah. We would literally drool over homes. Like we would drive down all the streets and imagine what they looked like inside. Yeah. If I saw a house I liked, I would look it up on Zillow. Yeah, we'd drive down PCH and turn down every uh, street. every street, yeah. and we would just like dream and fantasize it was always from a place of this is gonna happen for us one day it was never like we never thought like oh we're never gonna have this or we you know we just have to keep working hard and you know we were doing that was when we were doing like 50 million jobs just to stay afloat like you know we, we didn't always like have it easy we would always think about like this is our future and we would like really manifest it, I feel like. We would really like focus on it and like work to make it happen. That's what we did. We worked really hard to save as much as we could to buy this house and then to continue to put things into it. And now we're working really hard to, I don't know, do other things, <laughs> have a family. Mm -hmm. Would you like a big or small family and would you keep your channel? Oh. Small. Okay, on, th on three, we say how many kids we want. Okay. One, two, three, Seven. Two. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, two is perfect. Seven? Yeah. <laughs> I almost fell off this ladder. <laughs> two. Then we have Kinsley, and then we'll probably get another dog, too. Okay, so two real children. Yeah. No, they're, she's a real child. Yeah, she, yeah she's, she's real. Like, she's, she's a lot Two of human children and two fur children. Yeah, so definitely small. We like, we, we yeah, we, we want to. And I would 100% keep my channel. Can you imagine all the, like I have dreams about like, I want my kids every weekend to have a different like project or hobby that they try. I want them to experience everything. Uh -huh. You know, like whether that's like, we're outside, you know, it's like a finger painting day. Yeah. Or. It gives us an excuse to go to Disneyland. It gives us an excuse to go to Disneyland. I'm like we need an excuse we're going yeah for but now week. like <laughs> we have so much fun like we are totally kids at heart so i feel like being parents is just gonna be like gonna be so fun. much fun yeah. i don't know maybe we're just in that mindset okay so i got all of the crown molding pieces cut and i tested a couple and i think i still remembered how i did that side so I'm gonna make it easy on myself and actually kind of paint them down been on a ladder a lot over the last couple of days so if i can Limit that, that would be fantastic. Next question, what happened to the LA pop-up shop? My husband and, husband and I were excited to go check it out. So very much still happening. It's morphed into things and um, there are some other projects that I've been working on that um, have just needed some more time and it is gonna happen. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking now that we are already in fall and that was originally when I wanted to have it, I've just been so busy. Like this renovation is just taking a lot out of me and um, just trying to get it to a point where we can, you know, live comfortably and we have spaces. So this is kind of taken priority, um, but I'm thinking spring and the springtime is definitely the way to go. Um, so stay tuned. Of course, you guys will know exactly when it is in its final and date and in plenty enough time. So um, it is something that I'm working hard on um, it's something that I've been working on behind the scenes for sure uh, so stay tuned will you be doing vlogmas please say yes yes it's happening and I'm very excited I've been already thinking about things that we could do obviously we're doing I love this oh, what we're doing vlogmas of course we're doing vlogmas oh like just like last year i'm doing vlogmas in my own way it's well, i think a little bit less christmas content more uh renovation content and i think that it still will be this year because that's what i'm doing every day and so you guys will literally spend every if you got if you don't know what vlogmas is i will be filming a daily vlog every day from december 1st through christmas so the first vlogmas video will go live on december 2nd um and it'll you'll spend all the holidays with me um it's it's a lot 
to do. It's a lot of undertaking. Um, I hope this year I have a better handle around doing Vlogmas and also having renovation videos go up. So I'm trying to plan that out. Last year was the first year I did Vlogmas, so I didn't really know what to expect. And then after Vlogmas, I usually take two weeks off. Um, so because I've been filming so much and working so much, I take the time to spend with family. Romeo and I are probably going to chill out or go somewhere and um, just like have a fun two weeks and then we'll be back with regular content in the new year. How do you stay so focused on projects? I always start one and then want to start another one. Oh, I do that too. I still have projects that I need. I'm like, oh, I need to go back and finish that. And I think in a way, like creating content around my renovation projects has both forced me to be focused and then also forced me to not be focused. Sometimes I just need to move on for the sake of content and a project kind of like gets put on the wayside. Like I still have windows in the bedroom that need to be perfected and I haven't had time to do that yet. Final question since we're working on kitchen stuff, did you decide if you were making your cabinet fronts? I have decided, yes, I am going to attempt to make them. I am gonna try. I'm just gonna like, I'm actually gonna work on that like right after I finish this. That's the next major project in here. 738, 39, 40, 41, 42. <laughs> I have 42 cabinet fronts to make. Now that's a combination of doors and drawers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and hanging out with me while I <laughs> finish my project. Uh, I'm gonna film some pretty footage tomorrow. I'm gonna um, put these up tomorrow too. I'm gonna let these dry and put this crown molding up and then that is pretty much a wrap on the back wall for for now it's it's um finished so we're making some really really pretty progress and if you haven't seen the latest renovation video i'll leave it linked for you and you guys don't forget to check out thrive market you can go to thrivemarket.com slash exo mckenna to get 30 percent off your first order and a free gift valued up to 50 bucks kinsley is not helping me diy she is helping me she's been here the whole time didn't know you were here. Oh, you want mama to come lay with you? Are you excited? We have to let him get a little bigger. You might be a little too playful with him right now. Just don't tie me. Are you annoyed?